All right, um, as you can see, I have done some more work to Casper the Friendly Host. I uh, ended up painting. All right, as you can see, uh, we are living in a van inception. <laughs> Anyhow, I am actually in the van right now uh, doing some work to it. Basically, uh, fixing the sound system, which was having issues. It was like making staticky sounds. And at first I thought that um, maybe it was a speaker issue or interference. It, it turned out it was um, just uh, miswired. I ended up taking everything apart and rewiring it together. Um, but I didn't have the, the wiring schematics. So it was kind of doing things blind. Uh, long story short, I got most of it working. So I have three of the speakers working. Fourth one isn't working, and I don't think I'm going to deal with it. Because <laughs> I was just randomly swapping wires. I'm afraid I might end up blowing a circuit or something, or frying the radio, or setting, causing a fire or something. But I do have the radio working now without the static. It's just only three speakers work. Um, maybe one day, if I have time, I, I might mess with it again. But just wanted to share with you a, a quick way for, uh, for those of you who want to install... Uh, TV into your car without um, actually installing a TV in your car. You can actually use a, a tablet or a um, phone as a multimedia device. Like in this case, I have my old phone. Oh man, it keeps shutting off here. But I have my old phone, which is set up. Um, you know, it no longer does calls and stuff. But you could even use your current phone. But if you use your old phone, you could have like YouTube, um, you know, streaming off your Wi-Fi. Or if you set it up so it can receive Wi-Fi from, you know, another source such as your house or some other place that has free Wi-Fi. You can stream movies and stuff on it. YouTube and whatnot. Um, you know, YouTube and all the other standard stuff you could stream. And you can also set up, um, not set up, but install some apps uh, that have, like, multiple TV channels on it. Like Pluto TV and Tubi TV. And you basically have a, a TV on the go in the palm of your hand. And in this case, um, you know, if if you have it like set so that it has um, Bluetooth. Blue to make it match the interior. You, you can get sound. And, um, really nice sound it. through your car system. Let me show you here. This is, that was just YouTube. Um, just showing you that, you know, the, the system functions just like a, a miniature TV. But now we're gonna we're gonna go try to get to some music here if I can get out of this thing. I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyhow, so I have a VLC player here, which is really cool. And VLC player allows you to like download movies and whatnot. So you can like um I'm gonna go here. Yeah. You can download music and um Little videos and stuff like that. Uh, this this resumed where I stopped it. But anyhow, I could have I could have basically have uh, music videos running um, while I'm driving. Not that I'm watching them, but I could listen to it. But my passenger can watch, you know, the videos if they want to. Or if I'm parked somewhere and just want to watch a little music video or movie or something, I do that. Instead of carrying a bunch of CDs, um, DVDs or whatnot, you can actually download stuff or digital copies and put them onto your phone. Then you play it through your Bluetooth and have a really nice sound. And, you know, if you, you're sitting up front, uh, the TV screen or the, the phone screen is not too small. So you can stream pre-recorded stuff. And if you want like live TV, well not live, but like almost like cable TV, you can um, install applications like Pluto TV or um, Tubi TV. Here we're going to go to Pluto here as soon as it comes up. Show you a little bit of how it works. But Pluto is almost like cable TV, but it's free. And um, has like, I don't know, hundreds or thousands of channels. Thank you. He is so not th this a is a, a movie, I think Big Eyes. I think that's the story about this painter who had his wife paint and then he claimed success. And they're yeah. Bedford. So his so news. There respond and basically you can just switch channels and whatnot, just like a TV. So for those of you who want to have TV, but don't want to install TV, just basically 
Oh, like, and it's like, I'm going to go ahead and, and shut really the sound off before the um, copyright strike happens. But you don't need to install a full-blown TV like I have here in the back if you want entertainment. But don't feel like installing TV and Roku and all that. Okay, you can just use a, a touch tablet or, in my case, recycle an old phone. And if your your um, radio has Bluetooth capabilities, you can hook you know your phone's Bluetooth up to your radio and have really nice sound. Uh, I think it's worth getting a, a stereo system for your car that has Bluetooth. Um, you know, you could buy even a base model um, radio that has Bluetooth for about thirty dollars from Walmart. <laughs> and that would allow you to stream content and have sound come out through your audio, you know, through your, your radio. Now, how this is attached is actually I put Velcro, you know, on there. I, I have, like, Velcro scripts, and I just basically just stick that on there, and it, you know, holds it in place. And, um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, if you've not thought of doing it, you know, it's worth doing because... Because it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> and it gives even an older car multimedia streaming capabilities with built-in TV with hundreds of channels. As well as YouTube and if you have Netflix, HBO, whatever. you know. But you don't even need to have, to have those services. I mean, you can, you can just watch Pluto or, or Tubi TV and that should be more than entertaining enough. Um, assuming you have access to Wi-Fi and or, you know, your phone data plan allows like unlimited... But even unlimited on the phone plans, they tend to be limited. So I, I wouldn't stream too much if you were having to pay for it with the phone, you know, using the phone's data. But if you're in an area where you, you park your car and you're able to access free Wi-Fi, hey, you know, that's free TV or entertainment right there that you can stream. So until next time, everyone, take care. I hope you found this video useful. And uh, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, that would help this channel out quite a bit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.